Sendita, good morning. Good morning. Hi, good morning, Brendita. Hello. Hi, Brendita. Good morning. Can you listen to me? Hola, teacher. Sí, el sonido hey. de mucho. Ah, oh, tenía problemas de audio. Sí, por eso me volví a salir bien raro. Ah, ok. Sí, se le desconectó quizás. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Super nice. You are here. Tiene un milagro, ¿eh? Super. <risa> ya estoy un poco mejor, teacher. ¿Qué tal siguió? Ya mejor. Ya un poco. Sí, ay, no viera qué feo. Yo solita, o sea, creo al final... Uh -huh. Con ibuprofeno me bajé la inflamación porque es que estaba, me había como quemado la boca y porque oh, cambiamos el, el enjuague bucal. Entonces uh -huh. estaba utilizando el Listerine. Uy, y era muy fuerte. Sí, es demasiado Ajá. fuerte. Uh -huh. Entonces lo ocupé. Colgate, se hubiera comprado más suave. <risas> sí, entonces la semana pasada lo estuve usando y antes de que me comenzaran a revisar también lo usé. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Creo que me hizo como el... No sé, quizás algún efecto, porque cabal, justo después que me comenzaron a trabajar, uh -huh. me sentí bien mala de la boca, pero de verdad, de que era un dolor de cabeza, que me dolía hablar, era insoportable. ¿Las la cortales de arriba o abajo? Una de arriba. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ahorita es una, me hicieron relleno en una y en la otra tenía eh, igual. Oh my God. Entonces, pero no era lo que me, o sea, me dolía. Al final yo ya no sabía que era que me dolía, si era la cordal, era la encía o era toda la boca. Ay, Porque Dios mire, Dios. si es que yo sentía que me quemaba algo por dentro, era horrible. Sí, me imagino. Y, ¿no? me y la sentía... incomodidad de estar parado también a veces. Ah, oh, sí. La inflamación. Uh -huh. Bien feo, si yo por mí, yo solo, créame que yo pagaba por estar acostada y dormida, porque solo así no me dolía. Y mire, y tiene las otras tres. Sí, no, si no me han salido. Ah, ahorita no me empiezo. Salido. No, ahorita oh empiezo. Oh, God, Brendita. ¿Y cuántos años tienes? How old are you, Brendita? 28. Ok, no le salieron. Bueno, mm. bien raro, quizás ya no le van a salir. O, o tal vez ahorita. La doctora me dijo que entre los 28 y los 30 es probable, vea. Oh, ok. Yo me Pero lo quité allá estar... por, por los 30 años, me quité los, las dos de arriba. Me salieron bien rápido. Súper, las cuatro, las cuatro tengo. De ahí abajo no me las he ido a quitar. De hecho, tengo que ir para dejar espacio, me dijeron, pero, uh -huh. pero este es difícil, sí, yo entiendo, solo que a mí no me pasó eso, ¿verdad? fue más como en tres días yo ya estaba bien. No, yo no, pero yo creo que al final creo que fue eso, si sí, mire si la doctora lo que me dijo. Porque el lunes yo no aguantaba. Uh -huh. Mire, el sábado, el sábado de la noche me dio esta calentura. Sí, uh -huh, me imagino. Pudo haber infectado también. Sí, y uh -huh. el domingo, pero es que no me dolía lo que ya me había trabajado. Entonces el domingo mi esposo me dijo, ¿y cómo seguí? Y yo igual, vea, que no podía sí. comer ni nada porque me dolía. Me imagino. Entonces, me dijo, uh -huh. no, me dijo, tomate algo, medio, medio desayuné, me bañé y me dormí una sola desde como a las 10 hasta como a la 1. Uh -huh. 
Dios mío. Y tampoco, no. o sea, no reaccionaba hasta el lunes que le escribí a la doctora y me dijo que, que me aislara porque también podía ser sospecha de COVID. Y le digo, pero es que yo no, cuando le dije que me dio calentura, pero es que no me duele sí. nada más, le dije. Sí, ahora o sea, prácticamente. Le la boca. Sí, prácticamente calentura todos lo mandan a uno a... a aislarse. Y solo ese día me dio, pero el dolor era insoportable, que al final me no, dijo sí. que con ibuprofeno. Me imagino, me imagino. O sea, es, 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 es algo tremendo. La boca es ah, sí. más que está cerca de la quijada, la cabeza y todo es Sí, eso es horrible. Y bueno, yo como le digo, me las quitaron las dos de un solo, pero... Pero no, de hecho, yo fui, me acosté, estuvo ahí hablando la doctora conmigo y de repente, vaya, ya están. Y yo, what? Pero así, en serio, aprendita, quizás máximo tres minutos. Máximo, cuando ya tenía los bolas en la mano. <risa> Qué y de ahí, bien, me fui a la rara. casa, ajá, me fui a la casa, puros atoles, y comía bastante paletas heladas, right? uh -huh. los popsicles. Y eso me ayudó bastante, lo helado, así que coma helado, coma cosas heladas, eso cicatriza, ¿ok? Pero qué bueno tenerla aquí, Brendita, ¿ok? Me alegro Gracias. mucho, de verdad, ¿ok? Y, y a tener cuidado porque cualquier migaja o mal movimiento, un huesito por ahí o algo, peligroso, ¿ok? Sí. Be careful. Por aquí tenemos Sinia, ¿ok? En Exa, too. Good morning, guys. Good morning. ¿Qué tal, Sinia? ¿Cómo siguió? Good morning. Hello, good morning, Exa. Oh, yeah, Exa no dormió tampoco. <laughs> no, oh, God. I'm sorry, Exa. But today is Friday. Tomorrow and Sunday you sleep yes. all hours, okay? The 24 hours. Puro oso en Bernando. Okay. And Sinia, ¿qué tal? ¿Ya es mejorcita? Yeah, un poquito. Un poquitín. Okay, very nice. Pero gracias a Dios que estamos ya. Al menos parados, right? Okay, so my friends, this is Friday, okay, um, and we are going to, well, continue practicing, right? And obviously for the video conference for today, we have a review and practice, okay? So this is a review and practice from the uh, topics that we have studied so far, okay? In section number three. Ok, comparativos, vamos a hacer un contraste ahí, superlativos, ok, tercer condicional, third conditional, y ahora ahí este, eh, tenemos unas tutorías, así que, eh, Simia ya está en, en, en lista, también eh, Carla Joana pidió también tutoría, ok, Así que este, si tienen algún tiempo, pues todavía tenemos entre las 5 y 10 a 5 y 20, ¿ok? Eh, Cinia creo que va a las 5 y 20, ¿verdad, Cinia? 5 y 20, ajá, a 5 y media por ahí y después, eh, pues por si necesitan tutorías, right? Ok, my friends, this is what we're going to do today, as I said before, video conference number 20, ¿ok? And we are going to talk about... Well, we are going to do the review and practice for section number three, okay? What have been, uh, we have been practicing in this case, okay, just to refresh your, your memory, okay, with this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to display the, 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 the unit, okay, so we can see exactly what we have been um, practicing, uh, section number three. Para por las tareas si empezamos, right? We started on Monday, okay, talking about the vocabulary. We learned a vocabulary on Monday, for example, work schedule, break, shift, overtime, call-in, okay? Then we did the exercise for the time schedule and you did, okay, the uh, answer, well, you answered these questions, right? Based on the timetable. This was, okay, on Monday that we did this. Then, guys, on Tuesday, we learned superlatives, okay? The most and the EST for short and long adjectives, right? Hicimos esta práctica, right? We did the practice and the explanation, right? Aquí tenemos en este cuadro los, 
los, los examples, right, and rules, right. Dijimos que hay tres que no son iguales, no siguen la regla, good, bad, and far. In the book you have good and bad, okay, but there are three in total, good, bad, and far. Okay, then guys, I remember that we did the exercises from here, exercise number three. Okay, then on Wednesday, ahí empezamos a ver ya este, right? The, the past models on Wednesday, right? So eh, we have should have, okay? Eh, también se puede hacer con could have. And then we practice the third conditional, okay? Y ayer practicamos un poquitín más. If I had plus past participle plus would have, Okay, or could have. Remember, in the second part, you can put could or would, right? And we did the exercises from here, okay? And also, uh, yesterday, okay, we were talking about the sublines. This is, was the, the reading, okay, review, okay, for, uh, well, vocabulary. We did this part, okay, vocabulary is para los que no vinieron ayer, or surveillance, reassure. Behavior, theft, wage, deep, and spooky. So those vocabulary, those words, okay, based on vocabulary for unit number three, okay? We did this and then on Monday, right? Next Monday, we're going to do this, right? But uh, obviously this was the unit and today, guys, we need uh, to practice, okay? We are going to, okay, practice and we are going to see, okay, if you have uh, some gaps in this topic. So we are going to start with questions, right? I have here uh, two sets of questions. We have the number one, okay, a student A, and we have a student B, okay? I'm gonna share with you this one, okay, this, this page, um, uh, so you can have the questions, right? In here, my friends, this is, a, remember, comparative and superlative. This is what you have to do with your partner. So as today's class is review and practice, you are going to do many activities, okay, based on superlatives and comparatives and a third conditional, okay? So in this case, guys, you have to decide. This is your decision. You have to make a decision here if the sentence, or the question, sorry, if the question is in superlative or you use comparatives, okay? So, uh, when you finish the 10 questions, right, then you answer the questions with your partner. For example, good morning, Ili. Okay, if, if, morning, morning, Ili. For example, Ili is working with Araceli, okay? So, first, you together, you answer the, I mean, you, you, you complete the question, you together. Okay, number one is comparative or superlative. Okay, I think it's superlative. Porque mira, no tiene dan. Ah, yes, you know, this is a country. Ah, okay, so this is superlative. So you have to complete there. So then, what is the superlative for good? Yes. Ah, uh -huh. okay. So you say, what is the best, and you complete it, okay? The best country to live in. When you finish completing all the questions, then Iliana asks eh, Araceli. And Araceli use your information. Ah, this is just predictions, right? <laughs> Predictive answers. For example, what is the best country to live in? The best country for me is, um, let me see, Canada. Okay, and you really complete Canada because this is the answer from Araceli. Then you continue with the number two, number three, etc., etc. Okay, something good that you have here is that these are students' uh, questions. These questions are Iliana's questions, and the other questions are, in this case, uh, Araceli's questions. Look, the letter B. Okay, so you have to work interviewing your classmates, okay? Practicing with your classmates, interviewing, okay? One each other until you finish the questions, right? You have to choose if it is comparative or if it is superlative, right? So right now I'm going to send this um, information to you, okay? 
Can you please check the check uh, the, the 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 info if you have it, please. Okay, tell me if you got the the the, the, the document. Okay, right now we're gonna do this one, right? Okay, it's been sent. Okay, did you receive it? Exa, did yes. you have it? Uh huh. Araceli, Senior Brendita. Uh huh. Okay, so you can start working with your partners. You can start, okay, asking questions with comparatives or superlatives. Okay, that's it. Open, open the, the file, please. Okay, so we're going to have three examples. Three, okay, for the first one and three for the second one. Okay, the ones that we have here. Uh, let's see. Let's, um, Exa, can you please share the document? Uh, again. Share. Uh -huh. Share it, yes, for everybody. Mm -hmm. Yes, let me go. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do three from a student A, and then we're going to make uh, three questions from a student B. This is like an example, right? And then you continue the activity. Mm -hmm. Oh, but no, share it in here in, in the screen, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't specify. Uh huh. Share it in the screen. Okay, very good. Okay, that's it. Okay, so the number one, Exa, can you please help me type? Uh huh. Okay, yes. so the number one, I said it was the best. Uh huh. What about the number two? Araceli, can you read the number two, please? Um, you know, I can see. Okay, now. Uh -huh. Okay. Are you popular than your best friend? Okay, this is comparative, Araceli, or superlative. What do you think? I think it's uh, comparative. Comparative, excellent. Very good decision. Now, let's make the comparative for popular. Popular. Three adjectives, short or long. Three syllables, short or long. Is long. Is long. Uh -huh. So, can you please make the comparisons for popular? Are you more popular than Excellent. your best friend? Excellent. Very good. No, Dan anymore. Uh, Exa, please, because Dan is in the exam, in the answer. Mm -hmm. Only more popular, Exa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Then you have the second, the third, the second question. Question number three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Question number three. What Teacher. do you think? Yes, Ili? And the second sentence or the second question, mm -hmm. they can, uh, can put most popular. In the second? Uh-huh. No. Are you most or not? No, because it has than. Look. It's a than, no, this a... Only for superlatives exactly. or most? For a uh half -huh, for superlatives for that in, in this case you have this uh, hint. This is como una pista que les estoy dando, right? Si la pregunta llevar el dan, okay, ah, okay, comparative. If not, superlative, okay? That's it. Por qué? Porque eso hace que esté comparando, right? You and your best friend. Y en la primera aparece country, pero no aparece other country, okay? So it's superlative, it's only one. Okay, very good. Let's continue with the number three. Interesting. Who is, parenthesis interesting, person you know? What do you think, Exa? Comparative or superlative? It's a superlative. Superlative, excellent. Very good decision and down the most interesting excellent very good when you finish this because you're gonna finish with three four five six seven eight nine ten then you will start asking okay for example we are going to start asking uh, in this case um itzel hello good morning itzel good morning teacher. hello hello itzel read the question one two and three for iliana please Okay, Ileana, give the answer, and my friend Exa, you type the answers. 
Okay. Uh, what is best friend? Con sorry, 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 sorry. Okay. What is best country to live in? Mm -hmm. mm. Italy. Italy. Okay. That's it. You say Italy. The best country is Italy. But the best country to live is Italy. Italy. Very good. Continue itself with the number two. Are you? Okay. Are you more popular than your best friend? <laughs> yeah. Uh, really? Yes. Like, uh, I am. No. Huh? no? Oh, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> She's listening to you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Ili is okay. Very good. Well, let's say yes, Ili. Mm -hmm. Okay, number okay. three. Mm -hmm. Who is the most interesting person you know? Uh -huh. mm. The most interesting person I know is uh, a doctor. A doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Excellent. So you type exa a doctor. Uh -huh. And there we go. Okay, very good. This is for uh, the questions with the student A. Continue exa, please scroll down. Uh, now we do three for a student B. Okay, remember this is the second part of the other student. Okay, number one. Who is the student in the class? What do you think? Is it superlative or comparative? What do you think? Superlative. Superlative, excellent, very good. So you say this one, okay? Okay, no, 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 it's a delete, delete, delete. No, funny, uh, doors funny. alone. The funniest. The funniest, excellent. Uh -huh. The funniest, excellent, very good. So number two, comparative or superlative? Comparative. Uh, comparative. Comparative. So, what is the comparison for bad? Uh, words. Words. Excellent. Very good, Araceli. So, what is? Words. Words. No. Comparative. No. Comparative. 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 Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. What is worse than failing exams? Que peor que... que, que Que aplazar examen. Ah, oh, come on, there are a lot of <laughs> answers. <laughs> okay, so the answer could be um, eh, to have coronavirus is worse than failing exams. <laughs> uh -huh. To be hungry, <laughs> tener hambre, right? To be hungry is worse than failing exams, etc. Number three, what is form of transport? Comparative or superlative? Superlative. Superlative, okay. excellent. Uh -huh. So superlative of safe, safe, safe. Only one syllable, short or long? Short. 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 Mm -hmm. What is the safest? Very good, okay? Now let's answer the questions. Exa, ask the question, please. Uh, let's see, we're going to ask the questions to my friend, uh, Brenda. Okay. Brenda, who is the funniest student in, the, in this class? Mm -hmm. The funniest and much is also, right? mm -hmm. Who is the funniest student in this class, Brenda, for you? This is for you, personal opinion. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brenda, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hey, hello, bien cortado. Oh, you have problems in the internet. Okay, who is the funniest student in the class? Okay. Well, maybe Brandita has problems, okay. Uh, let me uh, choose Sophie, okay. Hi, Sophie, good morning. Can you please help me answer these questions, Sophie? Good morning. Okay, hi, Sophie. Who is the funniest student in the class? Giovanni. Okay, Yo <laughs> Giovanni. Giovanni. Giovanni is? Is the, uh, is the funniest student in this class. Okay, excellent. Second question, Exa. What is worse than falling exam? Failing, failing. Mm -hmm. Failing exam. Um, mm, mm -mm. 
es peor que, que aplazar exámenes. Uh, fall in a old mm. class. The ah. worst. <laughs> Failing exams. Uh -huh. What is the answer, Sophie? The worst that failing exam is failing in a one class. Ah, okay, failing one class. Okay, very good. So the answer, failing one class. Eh, that's it. Quítele the words, please, porque ahí está mal escrito también. Acuérdese que cuando es comparativo no lleva da. Uh -huh. Okay, so only failing exams, failing exams. Okay, now uh, question number three, please, Exa. What is the safest form of transport? What is the safest form of transport? Excellent. The safest is in car. Okay, by car. By car. Mm -hmm. The safest form of transport is traveling by car. Uh -huh, that's it. Oh, a car. That's it. Very good. So this is what you have to do, guys. Thank you, Exa, for, for, for displaying the, the exercises. Please stop uh -huh, the, the sharing. Excellent, okay? So this is what you have to do. You are going to work in pairs asking your partners, okay, to complete the questions that we have there. Comparatives versus superlatives, okay? Let's accept the invitation right now. You have the document, okay, with you. Okay, there you go. Give me a second. I'm going to share, I'm going to, to recreate them. We're gonna wait for the guys to come back because we're gonna add another another room. Hi Franklin, good morning. Hi teacher. Hello, morning. hello Frank. I'm fine. Okay, great. Ready for the weekend? Yes. <laughs> Are you going to go to the beach? No. No. No, no. 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 <laughs> no. In the, okay. in the house. In the house, right? Okay. Hey, hi yes. guys. Welcome back. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to send you again. Okay. Quiero agregar otro otro room. Okay. And that's it. Se vienen los demás compañeros. Okay. That's it. So my friends. Eh, okay. In pairs. Okay, guys, very good. There you go. Okay, now I have one, two, three, and there we go. Okay, accept the invitation, please. To share you. No, no, no. Okay, the answers are okay. <laughs> but the, the predictive answers, Exa, you have to ask again because Itzel has different answers, maybe. Ah, okay, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Well, first we have to complete the, uh, the question. The questions, uh huh, exactly. Okay, are you the busy? Busy? Oh. Um, 
Virginia. Hola, perdón. Ok, do you have the document? Uh, yes, but I, I don't have the editor. Oh, for the PDF. Ah, okay. And you, Senia, do you have? Yes. Okay, maybe you can share the screen. Uh huh. Okay. And you can start working. Are you using uh, Ili? Are you using your computer or your your job's uh, computer? No, my computer. Ah, okay. I'm going to I'm going to send a link, uh, Ili. Oh, okay. In that link, Eliana, uh, you after the class or uh, on weekend, you um, please um, go to that link and download the program for PDF. Oh, okay. Exactly the, the, the one that Sydney has. So you can type, you can edit, etc. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. It's going to be useful for your classes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Esta que cargue un poquito. The other question or oh. yes, we did three, okay, in the class. Uh, so uh, continue with the number four, and then you complete the okay. questions, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you are. Hi, Joa. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. How are you? Uh, yes, I'm fine. Right, it's fine. Okay. Alone. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Hey, Joa, yeah. I'm going to send this information for you. Okay. Bea, por favor, please check it and open it. Okay. Open it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me check. Okay. So we're going to work we're going to work in these exercises right now. We're waiting for your partner. Okay? Ya se va a conectar. Ahí vienen ya. Miren, conectado. Okay? So my friend there you are going to be here. Room 5. Okay? This is going to be your partner. Okay, Carlita Joana. Blanquita is joining the class, so Blanquita is going to be with you, okay? Okay. So, this is what you have to do. Hi, morning, Blanquita. Okay, uh, Carlita, can you please uh, display the, 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 the page? Share the document. Yeah. Wait a minute. Okay, don't worry. My computer is slow. slow. Like a turtle. Yeah. <laughs> ¿Cuál era el animal más, más, más lento? You remember the slowest animal? Eh, no era la turtle, right? Este perezoso. Ah, the sloth. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. Ok, open it. I will come back. Ok, ok. Y because exercise is... Ajá, is... uh -huh. ok. See? Yes, ok. Ok. That's it. Ok. This is what you have to do, guys. You have to complete. Ahorita completing, right? Questions uh, from student A and questions from student B. Here you have a combination, superlative or comparative. Superlative or comparative, okay? For example, okay. the number one. Well, the number one, I think, is a superlative. Okay, okay. so you have to see what is the best. The number best. two. Ah, aquí está Dan, ve. Entonces, comparative. comparative. So, are you more popular? Okay, etc. Okay? okay? Great. Okay. Very good. Complete it right now, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hi, Exa. Hi teacher, hello, I have hello. a question about. Uh, tell me. Well, let's start with this. Um, Which one? Uh -huh. uh, four question. A uh, piece here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. In, in this question, you have to put down or no, because I don't know if the structure of question. It's okay. Okay. Are you during the week? Or at weekends? Okay, so in this case, are you busier than during this week? No, in this case, no. 
these sentences uh, uh, this is uh, this is superlative not, or uh, comparative uh, comparative this is superlative okay superlative porque no es que no está comparando los fines de semana con la semana o sea eso solo son alternatives pero no está comparando el weekends okay mm -hmm. si no dijera is it better the week or weekends okay so in this case are you the busiest mm -hmm. the busiest uh, busiest es bien diciendo como estás más ocupado eres el más ocupado durante la semana, durante la semana. semana. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. oh okay. is this the same with the a are you more active uh, are you uh -huh, uh, are you more active that's it this is uh, this is one option look in this one in the number eight in the number eight okay mm -hmm. uh, in this case it's not necessary to use them igual lo entienden si dice are you more active in the mornings or evenings mm -hmm. okay but in this case is a comparative it's comparative okay that's it so in here in the number four okay para que le salga comparative no le ponga el dan okay porque uh, suena ya bien raro when you say ya me confundí dan at okay this year that's it okay so, so in this case uh, when, when you have, have, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Could be comparative o could be superlative. Ajá, uh -huh, but depends on dan. Si le pone el dan, ya no cabe. No cabe. Ya no tiene sentido dan during. Or the other one is eh, more active than in. It is, not, uh -huh. it is not. So you delete the dan in this case. Uh -huh. Ok. Do, the, uh, this is a special case. This is a special case. Ajá. Uh -huh. Porque no lleva el dan, ok? It's, it's, it's implicit, ok? So, in this case, for example, in the number, well, no hay otra, ya sí, ¿verdad? No. Uh, yes, in the number six. In the number six, ajá, uh -huh. ok, aquí está el or. Aquí en vez, de, en vez del dan, ok, le ponen el or. So, this could be uh, an option for you. Ah, lleva or, ok, so it's comparative in this case. So, mm -hmm. uh, here. Are you happier? Aha, uh -huh. only that. Now or uh, when you were younger? Mm -hmm. Eres más feliz hoy o cuando eras más joven, right? Creo que ya no, ya no hay otra, right? There is no other? No? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. very nice. Oh, yes, uh, yes number 10. Number 10. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. So you say or. Uh -huh. So obviously it's comparative. Oh. Which is more entertaining? Excellent. Uh -huh. Very good. Continue, guys. Continue. Okay. okay. Thanks, sir. You're welcome. Uh, hello, hello, teacher. girls. Hello. No. Good morning, Gabby, Veronica. Good morning. Good morning. Hello, hello. We're going to work, okay, right now. Okay. We're going to work uh, here. Uh, let me check here. Okay. That's it. I'm going to send this to you. Okay. So maybe, Gabby, you can, you can open the... The, the, the file, okay? Okay. Oh, pero, right, whoever wants to do it quickly. Okay, this is what we are studying, but please, you have to do it fast because the other guys are working since uh, 10 minutes ago, okay? Okay. So, did you okay. have it? Did you have it? Yes. Okay, open it, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's it. Open it, open it. This is a document uh, where you can um, practice because today's class is about a uh, review and practice, okay? So we're gonna practice superlatives, right? And you're going to ask questions to your partners, okay? Do you have the document open? You can share it. Ahorita. Okay, there. That's it, my friend. Okay, if you see Gabby and Vero, you have a student A and a student B, okay? Gabby, you ask Veronica, and Veronica, you ask Gabby, okay? Okay. So here you have 10 questions. What you have to do, girls, is to decide if the question is in the comparative form or the superlative form.
For example, the number one, do it together. You have to complete the questions right now together. What is country to live in, comparative or superlative? What do you think? What is country to live in, superlative or comparative? Superlative. Superlative, uh -huh. so you have to write the superlative form. Okay, what is superlative of good? Better, no. No, that's comparative. Superlative for good. The best, remember. The, es lo que vimos el martes, okay? Mm. The okay, most, okay. EST, and you have to decide if the, if the adjective is short or long, okay? So, ahí ponga Gaby, what is the best country to live in? Mm -hmm. Okay, now the second one, popular, 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 comparative or superlative in this case, are you? No, Gaby, no, 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 no. ¿Cuál es el, el superlativo de good? Best. Best, ah, no, pero no le ponga de most, Gaby. Acuérdese, uh, acuérdese uh, que es aquellos que se tienen que memorizar uno, son tres. Uh -huh. uh, uh -huh. Okay. okay. So, nunca me le ponga the best, or the, sorry, the most, o algo. The Solo best. better, only no, better. No, best. Better is comparative. Ay, sí. <laughs> Gaby, you need coffee. <laughs> no, Gaby, no. Con no. Superlative, superlative. Best. The best. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, what is the best country to live in? Second one, are you... Popular than your best friend. This is comparative or superlative. What do you think? Comparative. Comparative. So, what is the comparative for popular? Short uh, or long? It's long. Popular, long. Uh -huh. So no, more, more popular than more your popular. best friend. Excellent, Vero. More popular. Uh -huh. Ya no le ponga dan porque ahí lo tiene. Mire, dan. Okay. Popular. You need double coffee, Gabby. <laughs> <laughs> Number it's three. Friday. It's Friday, yes. It's Friday, you're tired. Number three, interesting. In this case, is superlative or comparative? What do you think? Su Who is? Superlative. Superlative. So, como superlative. Interesting is long. But hoy sí, mire, Gabby. The most. Most. The most. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. The most. Mm -hmm. sure. No, the no, no, no. The no. most. T-H-E. Okay. Exactly. The most popular. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. And then you continue, guys. You continue. Cuando tengan las preguntas ya completas, se las hacen. Okay? Okay. Vamos. Quickly, because the other guys are working. Okay? Very quickly. Quick. <laughs> popular. Yeah. Mm. What is the most country? You the most popular. A comparative. The number two. Comparative. El comparative. Uh, you most more, uh, more, more, uh, uh, more. Ah, uh more. -huh. More mean? popular than. Uh -huh. El comparativo. Mo more. Remember. Yes, more. Number three. Who is the most interesting person? You know. Excellent. It's it's more. It's more. The document previous is close and loose. I am. Oh, loose. really? <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> my close, my loose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you have to type it. Okay, do it quickly yeah. because the other guys are almost finishing. What was? Yeah. What was? Superlative uh, or comparative? What uh, is superlative? Superlative. Mm, most. The, the most, don't forget, the most, the most. important. Uh -huh. Very good. Mm -hmm. Y así sucesivamente. Invention. Uh -huh. todo. Number five, what was? Uh, uh, number five, no, number six. Number six. Four. It's a laptop. It's comparative. Comparative, very good. Uh -huh. It's a laptop number six. Uh, 
es que nos compa no, me salté la 4. Don't cinco. worry. Uh -huh. La 4 es de 4 era is de eh, super latín. ¿Verdad? Es el laptop eh, more. Are you busy? Are ah, you busy? Mm -hmm. It's a laptop more useful. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, seven. Who is who is the most talk talkative? Platicón, right? Uh -huh. Excellent. Very uh, good. Who is the most talkative? In the four. Do it, Blanquita. Do it, the number four in your notebooks, okay? That's it. The number four, number seven, and number eight. Mm -hmm. Blanquita, number eight, are you in the mornings or evenings? Comparative or superlative? Uh, superlative. Mm, nope. Out or uh, is comparative. Or comparative. Miren, aquí le voy a decir algo. Si se fijan en la número 8 no lleva dan, ¿verdad que no? Ajá, uh -huh, eso me confunde. Or. No, pero no les confunda. Aquí lleva el or, ¿ve? Y ese or es como que tuvieran mm. dan. Quiere decir que si ya tiene or ya no le pongan dan, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Pero es comparativo. Uh -huh. Are you more, more active, active in the mornings or evenings? Uh -huh. En ninguna parte. Hi, Blanquita. Hi. Oh. Take a vitamina. <laughs> you need vitamins. Uh -huh. Okay, yeah. continue, girls. Continue quickly. Uh -huh. Good, very good. Morning. Lita, good morning. Morning, teacher. Hello, hello. Uh, what is. Uh -huh. The most beautiful city you have ever visited. Visited, excellent. Uh -huh. mm. uh, I think Antigua Guatemala is the okay. Most the most beautiful. beautiful. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. um, are you mm -hmm. excellent? Um, are you happier now or, or when you were younger? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Was younger. <laughs> yes, I, I was happier. Yes. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. I have a, a question. Uh, uh, we are confused. <laughs> okay. Because number, number six. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And this, I don't. We don't know is. Comparative or superlative? Ah, okay. I'll, I'll give you the answer. Uh -huh. Do you see the word or? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that or is a replacement for done. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So when you, no, I need that. <laughs> Hi, Dalila, good morning. Good morning, teacher. <laughs> Mira, no me lo quiero regalar, ya vi. <risa> si la chica no se conectaba, le dije que me iba a dar taco. <risa> no para el inter. <risa> Dice que fue a comprar saldo, miren qué mal día. En vez de, <risa> en vez de mandarle taco. En vez de mandarle taco. <risa> ok, so, Ili enseña en Dali, aquí es eh, comparativo, porque ah. lleva el or, ok. Uh, este okay. tipo de preguntas no lleva dan, ¿ok? So, ¿eres más feliz ahora o cuando eras joven, right? So, Entonces, are, you are you happier? happier uh -huh, happier now or when you were younger? Uh -huh. 
Ah, okay. So you, you do it like this. Uh-huh. Delete, delete the. The, uh-huh. Agregamos el da. Mm, ajá. No, da no. es por superlatives y como esto es comparative, sí, ajá, you delete. Ajá, de, de. Oh. Eh, delete da. Da. Uh -huh. da. Uh -huh. Only happier. Number seven. Ok. Sí, niña. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what is okay expensive thing you ever bought this is comparative or superlative 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 okay uh -huh. very good the most expensive mm -hmm. very good expensive mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yes because it is done. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Very good. Short or long? Short. Uh, short. short. Okay. So you say harder. Harder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Number nine. Exciting sport to watch. Comparative or superlative? Uh, uh, Superlative. Mm -hmm. the, mo the, the most exciting. Uh -huh. Sport to watch. Mm -hmm. And this is the first Main yes. More. Yes. More. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you have or. Ahí está. Mm -hmm. Como está el or, it's comparative. Mm -hmm. Which is more entertaining. Es como, es como que el, el or está sustituyendo al dan. Ajá, porque te está dando, te está dando alternativas para que escojas uno. En okay. cambio, en el superlativo no te dan alternativas. Ahí simplemente te dicen uno y la okay. característica que sobresale. Exacto. Uh, okay. uh, which is more interesting, playing computer games or watching films. Okay, very good. That's it, we finished. Okay, thank you. Okay, now please ask the questions and only, only, only type the, the simple answer, okay? Okay, uh, Sinia, are you shorter than the average person? Average person in this case is la persona promedio, sería que 1.60. <laughs> no, no. Um. <laughs> no, no. Okay. That's yeah. it. Uh, you can alternate the answers, okay? Uh, for example, Ili, you ask uh, one question to Sinia and one question to Dali. Then, uh, Sinia, you ask uh, one to Ili and one to Dali, etc. Okay, so the idea is Wait. to practice. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Great. Hello, Carlita, tell me. Hello, Juan Carlos. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> would, you, would you see the, the... the answers? Okay. Let me check. Read the questions, please. What is the best country to live in? Mm -hmm. Continue. Number two. Are you more popular than your best friend? Uh -huh. Three. Who is the most interesting person you know? You know. Excellent. Uh -huh. Next. Are you busier during the week or at weekends? Or at weekends. Very nice. What was the most important invention in history? Mm -hmm. Number six. Is a laptop more useful than a mobile phone? Mm -hmm. Who is the most talk talkative person in the class? In okay. The <laughs> teacher, come on. <laughs> okay. Teacher. Number, <laughs> number eight. Uh huh. Are you more active in the mornings or evenings? Or the evenings, excellent. Number nine. What is the most difficult thing about studying English? Very good. 
Are vegetarians healthier than people who eat meat? Okay, very good. Let's see the second one. Okay, the second part. Okay, Carlita, please read the questions. Um, who's the funniest student in the class? Mm -hmm. What the, where is the worst than... Okay, the number two is incorrect. Please check it. Continue with the number three. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Continue where with the is, number three, then you continue. Uh -huh. Where is the safest form of transportation? Uh huh. Number four. Are you shorter than the average person? Uh -huh. Number five. Where is the most beautiful city you have ever visited? Great. Number six. Are you happier now or when you were younger? Uh -huh. Number seven. What is the most expensive thing you have ever bought? Both excellent. Number eight. Is learning math harder than learning English? Very good. What is the most exciting sport to watch? Mm -hmm. Excellent. And and number 10. Which is more interesting playing computer, playing computer? computer games? or watching watching films okay very good excellent only check here the answers aquí en la número 7 la respuesta dice a shoes so quítele quítele este ah, ajá, sí. solo shoes o le pone a pair of shoes right that's ah, it okay. y por ahí había otra que vi creo que es number eight ajá no it's not it Mm -hmm. It is not okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, please, eh, Sophie, alternándose las preguntas, bombardeen a Juan Carlos with the answers, <laughs> with the questions. And Juan Teacher, Carlos, you answer the you answer the questions, right? Yes, Carlos. But in the number two, mm -hmm. and that is a. What remember, is? remember, I told you, okay, that uh, there are three adjectives that are very different. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the superlative? What is the comparative form and the original form? Check your notebooks. There you have the answer. Or the book. In the manual, you have it. Mm -hmm. I will come back in a second. I will come back. Ask the questions, please, uh, to my friend Juan Carlos. Okay, to practice. Okay, teacher. Okay. Great. Okay. I bet and I don't like uh, so you spend all the time of week in the computer, so you yes. have mm -hmm. to laugh. <laughs> okay. Your computer is your life. Yes. <laughs> okay, we finish all week. <laughs> okay, let me check. Let me check here at the end. Okay, what happened here? Okay. The number 10, for example, the number 10, en ese caso, este, super nice, ajá, como le dije la vez pasada, ese puede ser more healthy than, o si no, healthier, ok? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, no problem. More active, the most difficult, ok, the most important, busier, the most interesting, more popular, the best, ok, very good. Can I check the other one, please? The funniest, uh, worst, uh -huh, the safest, shorter than, the most beautiful city, happier now, the most expensive, harder than English, okay. Uh, the most exciting and uh, is more entertaining. Very good, okay. So let's see here. Who is the funniest student in the class? I we have two, okay. <laughs> The answer, the answer for this, because it's superlative, you have to choose one, not two, oh. not three, not four, one, remember. Okay, it's a one. choose. I don't know, <laughs> for me, uh, both. Oh, okay, yes. but only one next day. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, okay, uh, exa. Exa, is the funniest student. Yes. <laughs> okay, great. Okay, Exa is the funniest in me. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you shorter than the average person? Okay, no. What is the average person for you uh, in, in height? Mm -hmm. For women, it could be one more. 65. 60. Uh, 60, no, no uh, 50, 50. 50. I know, I know person uh, que mide eso. <laughs> that, that is uh, that height. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. okay. The, height, the height is, the height I think for a man is 75 or 70, more or less for a man, the average. Mm -hmm. 70. 70. For a woman. No, no, but no. Is 68. 68. Okay. Yes, 68. For a man. For a man. For a man. In for this man. country. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. Around the world. Oh my God, they are huge. <laughs> yes, around the world. For example, I am short person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for example, here in El Salvador, uh, the average uh, height for a woman is um, 160, I think. 1.60 for a woman 65 more or less the most mm -hmm. if you are if you are a uh, taller than 65 70 75 wow you're considered tall <laughs> <laughs> yes. because salvadorian women are short most yes. most of them not all of them but most of them are short okay mm -hmm. how how tall are you it's one meter uh, 70. Okay. Yes, I, I, yes. Uh-huh, 170, ah, okay, more or less, mm -hmm. ah, okay. Well, no. Okay. Uh -huh. In UXI, you are 175. No, 70. 70, exactly, ah, okay. Yeah, I, yeah well, the, I don't know because some machines say 63, 65, 67. Uh, so my friend, you are from, from 60 to 70. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, in, in one machine, one time told told me seventy five. So I don't know my my height. Your height, exact height. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, this is how hard to measure. How for you? How much for you? Uh? How much for you? <laughs> okay. okay. Let me check. I'm checking the answer for the number nine. Okay. So the number nine is superlative. So please, I need okay. one answer. You decide. Okay. Oh, okay. The, for me, volleyball. Mm -hmm. You have volleyball. A okay. A lot of sports. <laughs> <laughs> okay, remember this is the most exciting. That's it. That means the top of the top. Okay. Okay. Which is more interesting, playing computer games or watching film? For exam, it's not that answer. No, for me. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I for, love uh, the watching. <laughs> for exa, this is for exa. This is yes. for exa. This okay. is for exa. What is the best country to live in? It's uh, Germany. Okay. Uh, are you more popular than your best friend? Yes. <laughs> Who is the most? <laughs> he is my he imaginary told... friend. I don't yes. have a friend. <laughs> ah, okay. Good. Okay. Nice. Oh, Nicolas Tesla. I remember you talk about him. Mm -hmm, your presentation. Are you busy during the week or weekend during the week? Uh -huh. Most important invention in history, electrician machine. Okay. Tesla. <laughs> uh -huh. More useful than a mobile phone. Yes. In the, okay. Is a laptop more useful than a, Yes, exactly. For work. Exactly. Who is the most talkative? Ilian. Oh. <laughs> well, yes. She participates a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Other people have the answer. The teacher, it is. Vania <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, told me that me, but I can put my own name, so I. Oh well, uh, yes, it's true. You said myself. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> and are you more active in the mornings or evening? In the morning? Oh really? I am more active in the evenings. Believe me. Yes. Oh, in the morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the most difficult thing about studying English? The grammar. Okay, that's it. Are you vegetarian? Are vegetarians sorry, more healthy than people who eat meat? No, yes. <laughs> I know people who are vegetarians and they look very like, oh, 
Mm -hmm. So, and there are other people that eat regularly meat and whatever, and vegetables as well, and they look very healthy and they are healthy. So mm -hmm. it's not just because they are vegetarians that are better than the others, okay? That's yes. Excellent. Very good, guys. Okay, for thank you. you. Perfect. Yay. Very nice. <laughs> Excellent, okay? Claps for you. Okay, great. Very nice. Let's come back to the main session, okay? Okay. We're going to practice then. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome back. Time for the attendance. Okay, so everybody, please, I ask you to, to turn your camera on so we can see your beautiful faces. Okay. Let's start. Okay, Carlita, good morning. Carlita. Morning. Dalila, Cynthia, Brenda, please. Itzel, uh -huh. who's missing? Oh, there are more people missing, right? Blanquita mm -hmm. is missing. Juan Carlos, uh-huh. Gabriela, Veronica, okay. Teacher. Hey, hi, Gabby. <laughs> We're gonna check the answers, okay? Don't worry. We're gonna check the answers, but right now it's time for the break. For the break. For the the <laughs> attendance. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, teacher, and everybody is going to sleep. Carla Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Present. Present. Very good. It's Friday, Carlita. <laughs> Veronica. I am Ah, you are on vacation, so yes. you, should, you should be happy. Uh, <laughs> yes, <okay>? later. <laughs> ah, okay, excellent. Veronica Beatriz Celso de Saldana. Present teacher. Veronica, hi Veronica. Otsmani et Saúl de León eh, Hernández. Present. Vania Itzel de Las de Cañas. I'm here. Very good. Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Great, Blanquita. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Durantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Great, Araceli. Cindy Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Claudia Eliana Casun de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Great. Ah, si no hubiera sido por ti que les cae el pollo campero ahora. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera. Absent. <laughs> Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Present, Gaby, Oscar Xavier Morales Mira, absent, and Joana, Carla Joana Martinez de Martinez. Present. Okay, very good, nice. Hey, congratulations, most of you are here, great, that's it. So, you are more active on Fridays than Mondays. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me check the answers. Let me check the answers, please. Uh, uh, we're going to check here, okay? And we're gonna share. I'm going to ask uh, some of you the question, please. Um, let me see. Joanna, can you please share your, 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 your screen? Comparta su, su, su ejercicio, please share your screen, okay? Wait a minute. Okay. Ah. <laughs> okay. There you go. Okay, the first question is for Giovanni. Okay, Giovanni, I'm going to ask, I'm going to choose questions from here. Okay, let's see here. Okay. The, only the questions. The questions, or... exactly. Mm -hmm. okay. What is the best country to live in, uh, Giovanni? What is the best country to live in? The answer is, what is the better country to live in? Oh, no, no, the best. The best. 
the best is superlative porque no lleva dan uh -huh. or, or that's another okay what is the best country to live in okay i'm going to ask the questions and you give me the answer please what is the best country to live in giovanni for you according to you the country mm -hmm. Soy a pango. <laughs> Country. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay, quickly, quickly, Yoba. Quickly, quickly. Mm -hmm. Whatever. Salvador. Okay, El Salvador. Okay, very good. That, this is what you have to answer. Whatever. Remember, this is my predicted answer. This is not like is correct or incorrect. No, this is your opinion. Okay. Yeah. Are you more popular than your best friend, Blanquita? Uh -huh. Yes, Yoba. The best. The best city is San Salvador. No? Oh, no, but it says country. 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 Mm -hmm. The best country is. The best Al otro lado del charco, de sí. Eh, <laughs> China. Country. China. Okay, very good. <laughs> That's it. Eh, are you more popular than your best friend, Blanquita? No, I am not. Ah, oh, okay. Number three, Ileana. Who is uh, the most interesting person you know? Uh, thank you for mentioning my name. <laughs> the teacher. Oh, yeah. Extra points for you. Okay. <laughs> Dalila le va a mandar los tacos. That's it. Right? Teacher yeah. physical. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who is the most interesting person? Okay, very good. Are you busier during the week or at weekends, Gabby? In mm -hmm. the week. Uh, during the week, yes, because we are working, right? Okay. Yes. Number, <laughs> yeah, number five, Franklin. What was the most important uh, invention in history? Um, en, en el, eh, en el, en el, the electricity. Electricity. Ah, yes. okay, very good, excellent. Uh, Sophie, is a laptop more useful than a mobile phone? No, it's not. Okay, very good. Who is the most talkative person in the class? Uh, Itzel. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Okay. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> no, for me, the most uh, talkative person is um, Exa. Exa, okay. Yes. Exa. <laughs> <laughs> Very yes. serious, okay. Number eight. <laughs> Number eight, okay. Uh, let me see here. Veronica, uh, are you... <laughs> More active in the mornings or evenings, Vero? In, in the morning. Ah, in the mornings. Okay, very good. Number nine, Araceli. What is the most difficult thing about studying English? The most difficult. Activate your microphone, Araceli, because it's off. Mm -hmm. What is the most difficult, uh, the most difficult sort of thing about studying English? The tool. Mm, ah, <laughs> the, the, past, the past models. <laughs> sure. <Yes. laughs> Very good. Number 10, Carlita Joana, are vegetarians. Aquí hay dos opciones, Mira, more healthy than or healthier than people who eat meat. Yes, I think that the vegetarian is more healthy for the people. No, really? Yeah. No, come on. <laughs> no, the, the, the meat lovers are. <laughs> oh, okay. Delicious, but, uh, but it's not more. Yes, it's not so. It's not so healthy. Yes, I. I, know. I love oh, the meat. Man. Mostly <laughs> el puerco. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's it. A student B. Let's continue. Okay, Iliana, uh, who is the funniest student in the class? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Frank. 
Franklin. Franklin, <laughs> yes, okay. Franklin is the funniest, okay. What yes. is, uh, yes, Juan Carlos, what is worse than failing exams? What is worse than failing exams? Juan Carlos, hello, are you there? Miss, miss the, miss the class. Ah, the class, okay. Miss the class is worse than failing exams. Excellent, okay. Uh, this is for Brenda. What is the safest form of transport? What is the safest form of transport? Well, is Brendita there? No? Okay, right. Gabby, for you? Uh -huh. A moto. In English, <laughs> in English, in English. What is the safest form of transport, Gabby? What is the safe form? I don't know. <laughs> What? <laughs> uh -huh. What is the safest? El más seguro. The motorcycle. Uh -huh. Ah, the motorcycle. Well, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> this is the most dangerous. <laughs> no. The uh, <laughs> My own car. <laughs> ah, your own car. Okay, very good. That's it. <laughs> Next, Carlita Beatriz. Um, are you shorter than the average person? Hmm. No. The average person is maybe one meter sixty-five or sixty. Uh -huh. um, For a woman. No, I'm not. Okay, that's it. Very good. Uh, Dalila, what is the most beautiful city you ever visited? Um, Ciudad León, Nicaragua. Ciudad León, Nicaragua. Okay, very good. Are you, okay, this is for Sophie. Are you happier now or when you were a uh, baby? A <laughs> baby. <laughs> when you, were, you were younger, Sophie. Hi, Sophie. Hello. When I was younger. Ah, oh, okay, <laughs> when you were younger, great. Okay, uh, Franklin, what is the most expensive thing you ever bought in your life? A uh, bicycle. A bicycle, okay, yes. very good. Uh, this one, okay, um, Carlita, uh, Joanna, is learning mathematics harder than learning English? For me, it's more hard. It's harder, it's hard, harder. Harder, it's more, uh, it's harder than math. Ah, the mathematics. Okay, very good. Ah, oh, so English is easy for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Veronica, what is the most expo the most exciting sport to watch? I don't know. It's okay. What do you say? Um, um, with the motorcycle and and acrobats. Acrobats, ah, okay, yes, acrobats, okay, and motorcycles, right? Mm -hmm. yes. Very nice. And the last one, which is the most, uh, sorry, which is more entertaining, playing computer games or watching films? What do you think, Itzel? For me, um, watching films. Okay, that's it. Watching films. Excellent. Okay, very, very, very good. Okay, my friends, this is the, the, the exercise that we had. Thank you, my friend there, uh -huh. Joa, for showing, okay, and, 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 and sharing, okay, the stuff. Very good. This is, guys, uh, the practice for comparatives and superlatives, and you did a very good job. Hubiera un poquito que se equivocaron quizás en poner superlativo o comparativo, but remember, there is a hint, dan o puede llevar dan o lleva or, ok? So this is a, 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 a clue, ok, for you. So, right now we have the listening exercise, ok? The listening exercise is about... Um, a comparatives, okay? So I want you to pay attention to this close attention. Please activate very well, clean your ears, okay? And uh, let's listen. 
What is a, what are the, the sentences? Well, we have seven sentences and the seven sentences can be true or false. This is the only thing you have to do. In your notebooks, maybe you can choose true or false, true or false. I'm gonna ask for volunteers. Vero, can you read the question, the sentence number one, please? Number one is Penny has worked in two countries. Very good. This is a conversation and Penny is going to talk about, you know, living in two countries. So uh, the number one is that Penny has worked in two countries. You are going to listen what countries, right? So you say true or false. Continue Vera, with the number two. She likes? She likes the weather in Japan and Mexico. In Mexico, okay, very good. Repeat weather. Weather. Weather, excellent, uh-huh, very good. She likes the weather in Japan and Mexico. Continue please, number three. Food is very important to Penny. Uh-huh, that's it, very good. Uh, food is very important to Penny, true or false? Very good, thank you, please. Franklin, number four and five and six and seven. <laughs> hey, uh, number four, uh, she doesn't think that there are many types, tips, uh, no types. Uh, types, mm -hmm. Yes, sorry, uh, of food in Britain, Britain. In Britain, uh-huh. Britain, in Britain. Okay, uh, true five, or false, uh-huh, number five. True or false, uh, she ate lots of sushi, sushi in Japan. <laughs> sushi, <laughs> sushi. <laughs> sushi. <laughs> uh -huh. sushi in Japan. My English. <laughs> No, because Japan could be shusho. <laughs> True or false? Uh -huh. Number six. Trump. True or false? Uh, number six. Uh, she didn't learn any Japanese. Ah, she didn't learn any Japanese. True or false? And the last one, Frank. Mexico. Uh, number seven. Mexico is her favorite country because of the food. Okay, very good. True or false? Okay, guys, ready? True or false. Ready yes. for listening? I'm going to play the audio three times, okay? And then we check. Three times. True or false? Now I live in England, but I've lived and worked in several countries. I think my favorites were probably Japan and Mexico, mainly because of the food and because of the weather. As you know, the weather in England is often very cold, very grey and quite wet. In Mexico it's much hotter, the skies were much bluer and there was less rain there, so it was lovely. And that was most of the year, even in winter. Japan was lovely also. It got more humid than Mexico in the summer and colder than Mexico in the winter, but it was still very, very sunny there, sunnier than in England. The food, well... <laughs> I know some people eat to live, but I don't. I live to eat. I love my food, so Japan and Mexico were both wonderful countries for me. I know the food in Britain is maybe more varied than in other countries, because we've got so many different types of cooking here, with all of our Indian restaurants, Chinese, Thai, Italian, the list is endless. But Mexican food was definitely the spiciest food I've had, so that even on fruit we often had chilli. Japanese food, mm, this was probably the healthiest food and the most delicious, and I became a bit of an addict to sushi by the end of my time there. Language in the countries. For me, Spanish was easier. That's the language of Mexico, um, because I'd studied it at university before and it's more similar to English. Japanese was extremely difficult, the most difficult language I've ever come across. And the more I learned, the more difficult it seemed to get. So overall, choosing between Mexico, England and Japan, I think Mexico is my favorite. It's the most relaxed country and the weather is beautiful. It's the sunniest and hottest country and it has beautiful beaches. So if I chose, I'd live there. Okay, we're gonna listen again. Okay, once again. 
Now I live in England, but I've lived and worked in several countries. I think my favourites were probably Japan and Mexico, mainly because of the food and because of the weather. As you know, the weather in England is often very cold, very grey and quite wet. In Mexico it's much hotter, the skies were much bluer and... There was less rain there, so the weather in England is often very cold, very grey and quite wet. In Mexico it's much hotter, the skies were much bluer and there was less rain there, so it was lovely. And that was most of the year, even in winter. Japan was lovely also. It got more humid than Mexico in the summer and colder than Mexico in the winter, but it was still very, very sunny there, sunnier than in England. The food, well, I know some people eat to live, but I don't. I live to eat. I love my food, so Japan and Mexico were both wonderful countries for me. I know the food in Britain is maybe more varied than in other countries, because we've got so many different types of cooking here, with all of our Indian restaurants, Chinese, Thai, Italian, the list is endless. But Mexican food was definitely the spiciest food I've had, so that even on fruit we often had chilli. Japanese food, mm, this was probably the healthiest food and the most delicious, and I became a bit of an addict to sushi by the end of my time there. Language in the countries. For me, Spanish was easier. That's the language of Mexico, um, because I'd studied it at university before and it's more similar to English. Japanese was extremely difficult, the most difficult language I've ever come across. And the more I learnt, the more difficult it seemed to get. So overall, choosing between Mexico, England and Japan, I think Mexico is my favourite. It's the most relaxed country and the weather is beautiful. It's the sunniest and hottest country and it has beautiful beaches. So, if I chose, I'd live there. Third time, okay? Then we check the answers together. Now I live in England, but I've lived and worked in several countries. I think my favourites were probably Japan and Mexico, mainly because of the food and because of the weather. As you know, the weather in England is often very cold, very grey and quite wet. In Mexico it's much hotter, the skies were much bluer and there was less rain there, so it was lovely. And that was most of the year, even in winter. Japan was lovely also. It got more humid than Mexico in the summer and colder than Mexico in the winter, but it was still very, very sunny there, sunnier than in England. The food, well, I know some people eat to live, but I don't. I live to eat. I love my food, so Japan and Mexico were both wonderful countries for me. I know the food in Britain is maybe more varied than in other countries, because we've got so many different types of cooking here, with all of our Indian restaurants, Chinese, Thai, Italian, the list is endless. But Mexican food was definitely the spiciest food I've had, so that even on fruit we often had chilli. Japanese food, mm, this was probably the healthiest food and the most delicious, and I became a bit of an addict to sushi by the end of my time there. Language in the countries. For me, Spanish was easier. That's the language of Mexico, um, because I'd studied it at university before and it's more similar to English. Japanese was extremely difficult, the most difficult language I've ever come across. And the more I learnt, the more difficult it seemed to get. So overall, choosing between Mexico, England and Japan, I think Mexico is my favourite. It's the most relaxed country, and the weather is beautiful. It's the sunniest and hottest country, and it has beautiful beaches. So, if I chose, I'd live there. Okay, what do you think? Okay, do you need a, another time?
No, everything is okay. Giovanni, do you need another time? Araceli, Sinia, okay. No, Gabi, it's Carlita, okay. it's okay? Okay, my friends. This is a little tricky, huh? so please, that's it. Right now, I'm gonna give you exactly two minutes, maximum three, to check the answers with your partners and compare. True, false, true, false, true, false, okay? There you go, okay. Let's check the answers. Don't change your answer, only compare the answers, okay? Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna check the answers together. Is that it? No. I don't know. <laughs> okay, Paul. <laughs> because uh, she works in Mexico. No, yes, but she said uh, work in other country, but the, the <sighs> she didn't live in Japanese. Japan. Uh -huh. Okay, for mm -hmm. okay, Paul. Okay. And the second, she leaves the waiter in Japan in Mexico falls for me. Mm. <laughs> for me, uh -huh. she like the weather in Mexico. It's, it's, it's true. It's, it's true. Ella no podía hablar. Yes, yo la tengo true. In Las Siete, Mexico is the favorite country because of the food. Uh, ahí tengo duda porque sí es el sí es el country favorito, pero no sé si por la comida. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. for the weather. Uh -huh. In the beach, back oh, in the other de las playas, right? The beach. Uh -huh. Sí, yes. 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 Okay, very good. What, what are the answers? Tell me, number Paul. one. Paul, ah. number two. Ah, number one. Number uh, one. Number one, I have it. Eh. True. Mm -hmm. True. 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 <laughs> <laughs> listen, 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 listen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Right. Miren que me caen bien y lo voy a compartir otra vez. <laughs> listen, listen to this part, okay? Only, only the beginning, okay? Only the beginning. Uh. Finish. <laughs> listen. <laughs> Now I live in England, but I've lived and worked in several countries. Okay. Now I live in England, uh -huh. but I have lived and worked in several countries. Mm, it's false. Mm -hmm. Several countries means a lot of countries. And the question, and the question says, she has worked two. in two countries? True or false? False. False, <laughs> because it's several. Several means many, okay? Uh, okay. That's it. Aha. Uh -huh. Number two. True or false? Number two. True. It's true. true. Number three? Uh, uh, Me. I have true. But uh -huh. I have false. I have false. Uh -huh. You have false, uh -huh. Sinia. And that yes. is? False. Lila? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> False. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she, she she loves food. What is the number three? I'm sorry, I, I forgot. Yes. The, this, this food is number very three, important. Food is very Penny. important to Penny. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Uh, and she said uh, he loves the food. She loves the food. Dice una frase por ahí. Hay gente dice que come para vivir. Eat to live. Yo dice ella, I live to eat. So, she likes the food or she doesn't like the food? She likes. I like. She likes it. Uh -huh. That's it. So, in this case, it's true. Number four. Number four, I, I don't have the answer. You don't have the answer? Okay, don't worry. Yeah. Number five. Uh, four is true. For you, true, okay. For you, Dali, number four. True, okay. Number five. I don't have 
I no, don't know. they don't have it. Okay. Yeah. This one what? it's about sushi. It's sushi. Mm, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Miren la, la variedad de comida en, Brit en Britain. Okay. Let's see. Japan was lovely also. It got more humid than Mexico in the summer and colder than Mexico in the this winter. This is the weather. Okay. But it was still mm -hmm. very, very sunny there. Sunnier than in England. The food, well, <laughs> I know some people eat to live, but I don't. I live to eat. I live to eat. I love my food. I love So Japan food. and Mexico were both wonderful countries for me. I know the food in Britain is maybe more varied than in other countries. I know the food in Britain is more varied. So there are different, for example, what kind yeah, of uh, different types? Countries. For example? Because we've got so many different types of Ooh, cooking. We here. have different With types. All of our Indian restaurants, Indian, Chinese, Chinese Thai, Italian, Italian, Thai. The list is endless. Oof. But Mexican food was definitely the spiciest food I've had. Mexican so was the spiciest. Even on fruit, we often had chili. Number five. Japanese food. Mm, this was probably the healthiest food the healthiest and the most delicious. Food. And, the most and I delicious. became a bit of an addict to sushi by the end of my time there. Ah, and I became a little bit more than an addict to sushi. <laughs> so, if she was an addict to sushi, true or false? She ate a lot. Ah, okay. Sushi, true. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay, now we're going to check it together, guys, as a whole half class activity. There we go. The check if all of them, the rest of them are correct or incorrect. Okay, guys, I think everybody's here. Okay, now we're going to check the answers, okay, from the listening exercise. Um, there you go. Do you have similar answers or different answers from your classmates? What do you think? Similar. Different answers. <laughs> different answers, okay. Yes. That's it. So we're gonna check, okay? We're gonna check here uh, the mm -hmm. answers. So number one, uh, Penny has worked in two countries. True or false? True. True. <laughs> True or false? True, true, false. <laughs> okay, false. let's see, true. check here. Okay, para los que dicen true, listen. Two countries, si ha trabajado solo en dos países en su vida, two countries no. in her life. Listen. Now I live in England, but I've lived and worked in several countries. Okay. Now I live in England, but I have worked and, well, I have lived and worked in several countries. Several means many, a lot. Okay, so the answer is true or false? False. False. Ah, you see, it's false. Very good. So click, we check here. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> no, it's not here. Okay, it's here. Okay, it's false. Okay, false. because he has lived in different countries. Okay. Uh, number two, Exa, read the sentence, please. She liked the weather in Japan and Mexico. Mm -hmm. What do you think? True. It's true. It's true. true. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. True. Next, uh, continue at Araceli. Number three, the food. Uh, food is very important to Penny. Uh -huh. True. 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 False. True. False. True. False, 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 false. Okay. <laughs> Let's check. False. No hay mejor respuesta que escuchar otra vez. Vamos. This is, a, some people say true, some other people say false. Okay, there we go. Listen. I think my favorites would probably Japan Listen and Mexico. To the food. As you know, the weather in England is often very cold, this is about very grey okay. and quite wet. In Mexico, it's much hotter. The skies were much bluer and there was less rain there. So it was lovely. And that was most of the year, even in winter. Japan was lovely also. Okay. It got Listen. more humid than Mexico Japan in the summer and colder than Mexico, Mexico in the winter. Colder than but it was Mexico. still very, very sunny there, sunnier than in England. The food, Listen. well, 
I know some people eat to live, but... I know some people live to eat, but I don't, she said. I don't. I, love I live to eat. I, I, oh my God, sorry. I <laughs> live, dice ella. Yo sé que gente, dice ella, I know that people eat to live, mm -hmm. but I don't. I live to eat. So... Yes. Ajá, it's si ella true. vive para comer, so it's true, true. It's true. Okay. it's true, excellent, okay, oh, yes. very good, okay, it's true, very true. nice. Next, okay, Ili, read the number four. She doesn't think that there are many types of food in Britain. Ajá, true or false, guys? False. 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 False, okay. False. She doesn't think, okay, in this case. Ella no piensa que hay muchos, o piensa. What do you think? There are a lot eh, of she, types, she right? Thinks. Mm -hmm. She There thinks. are many types. Excellent. Very good. Number five, Joa. Um, she ate love of sushi in Japan. True or false, guys? It's true. True. Uh, true. 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 Okay. True. True. Excellent. True. 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 She became a little, a little bit more than an addict. Yeah. So she is because she ate a lot. Okay. Okay. Ili. Very good. Excellent. Uh huh. Ili. <laughs> okay. Next, Sophie. Do you have a read, please? Number six, Sophie. She didn't learn any Japanese. Any Japanese. No, Konishiwa. No, no, no. Any. False. 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 It's false. Very good. Porque sí aprendió algo. Ah, ok. Caregato, caregato, caregato. Uh -huh. Very good. <laughs> Next. Ok. Sinia, read the number seven. Mexico is her favorite country because of the food. Because of the food. Mm -hmm. True. False. 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 Excellent. False. 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 Very good. Mexico is her favorite uh, country, but not because of the food. Yes. She doesn't the, like the, the food there because of the weather and the beautiful beaches, right? And she doesn't like the food because the food, she said, is the Spicy. spiciest. Uh -huh. The spiciest chili. food with chili even in the fruits, she said. And this is true, guys. I went to Mexico some years ago and when I asked for, oh, can I have a piece of watermelon, please? Me dieron una gran rodaja así enorme de, de, de watermelon. You are oh, so delicious. <laughs> ¿Qué? Pero en el watermelon le echaron chile de uno de, de polvo. Very delicious. Tajín, tajín. Tajín, exactly. That one, a eh, lemon and eh, salt. <laughs> y esa gran, esa gran rueda sí le insertaron un, un palo como que fuera chile. <laughs> yeah. There you are. That was like, ah. Oh. I don't like chili. I don't eat chili, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's why it was difficult for me to eat that. But it's true what she says. Even the fruit, the mango, for what? The mango in El Salvador too, but the watermelon, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't think it could be, okay? But anyways, that's it. Excellent, good, very good. That was your listening exercise. And remember, there are always like slips on your head. Cascaritas, right? Some little ones, okay, where you can you can have different uh, perceptions. But anyways, it's important to listen to it again, okay? So my friends, the, the, the attendance, okay, for the second time, and then we finish with one activity, with other speaking activity that I have for you, okay? Uh, let's uh, start then uh, with Carlita, right? Okay, cameras on, please, to see your beautiful faces and say present. Carla Beatriz Aguilar Marroquín. Present. Great. Verónica Beatriz Celso de Santana. Present. Great, Vero. Osmani Etzaú de León Hernández. Present. Vania Itzalderas de Cañas. I'm here. 
Blanca Estela Marroquín Ramírez. Present. Franklin de Jesús Martínez. Present. Giovanni Alberto Orantes Flores. Present. Dalila Estela Silva Morán. Present. María Araceli González Flores. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Mejía de Sanabria. Present. Sofía Guadalupe Hernández. Present. Palacios, right? Sí. Uh -huh. Juan Carlos Molina Martínez. Present. Juan Carlos, hello. Claudia Eliana Casun de Mengíbar. Present. Brenda Lucía Rosales Guzmán. Present teacher. Brendita, ajá, uh -huh. hello. José Enrique Bermúdez Rivera is absent. Gabriela Beatriz Reyes Ramírez. Present. Oscar Xavier Morales Mira is absent. And Carla Joana Martinez de Martinez. Present. Okay, very good. Nice, nice. So we're going to finish with the other exercise that I have for you. Okay, and if you see in this exercise, I have a lot of problems, okay? Ooh, there are uh, about 15, 14, 14 problems, right? Uh, what we have to do here is something very simple, right? That you have to use the, 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 the structure that we practice, okay? Uh, well, even the day before yesterday. O sea, es, aquí se las escribo, right? Do you remember the, the structure for the third conditional? Okay, okay, for example, here, if plus subject plus had, uy, had plus the past participle, right? Then we have comma, and then we have subject plus would plus have plus the past participle, okay? That's it. This is the structure that we have to use here, guys. And I have the first problem, okay? Uh, Gabby, can you read the problem number one? Okay. Uh, last week, you lost your passport at the airport and couldn't board the plane to go on holiday. Ah, you lost the passport. So, what is here? The, the, the sentence that we have to make. Si no hubiese perdido el pasaporte, te hubiera sido. Do you remember? This is what you are going to do, okay? Using the structure that you have, if you haven't, okay? If you haven't lost, lost your mm -hmm. passport, coma, okay? You. you would have or deal the plane. Okay, that's it. So this is what you have to do, guys. Okay, that's it. If you hadn't lost your passport, you would have boarded the plane. Okay, so this is like, pero pasó lo opuesto, right? Lo perdió y no lo abordó. Okay, so right now, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it orally. Okay, we're gonna do it orally. This is an oral activity. Okay, so I want you to, I want you to do this, but in your mind and tell me. Let's see that is uh, number two, the problem number two. Read it, Veronica, please. Last week, you injured your neck in a car accident because you weren't wearing a seatbelt. Seatbelt, seat uh-huh, very good. So, pero, what is the third conditional for this? Si hubieras usado tú, uh-huh, mm -hmm. tell me. Injured. If you injured your neck in a car, uh -huh. you will have. Um, you will have a wedding a seatbelt. Okay, no, pero no. Okay, this is the problem. Look, you injured your neck. Se fregó su cuello, right? Se lo golpeó, se lo, se lo fracturó, se lo golpeó. So, porque no estaba usando su eh, cinturón. cinturón. So, If you have worn... Excellent. You very have... good. Very good. If you, aha, uh -huh, can you please tell me if you, if you have 
Past participle of where? Uh -huh. You can check your dictionaries if you want. If you warm. have warm, very good. If you have warm, continue, Vero. Silbert. Mm -hmm. Juris. Very good. Very good. Comma. Mm -hmm. You would have. You would or wouldn't? Wouldn't. 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 Excellent. Wouldn't have. Uh huh. Your neck. Injured your neck. Excellent. Okay. Very good. Applauses for Vero. Excellent. Very good, Vero. Nice. Así me llega que se, que, que se equivoquen y después se corrijan. That's okay. Okay. Perfect. Number three. Okay. This is the number three. The number three is four. Let me check here. Okay. Eh, Carlita, Carlita Marroquín, please read the, the problem. Um, the number three? Number three. This one. Uh -huh. Last week, you quickly paid the bill at the restaurant and later discovered the restaurant had overcharged church. Over <laughs> okay, very good. Last week, you quickly paid the bill at the restaurant. In your house, two hours, three, four, five, or two days later, you discover the restaurant had overcharged you. So supposedly you were going to pay $5, but you paid $22. <laughs> okay. okay, Carlita, tell me. Um, if I... If I let me, mm -hmm. if I hadn't, mm -hmm. if I hadn't, paid if I hadn't paid mm -hmm. quickly, quickly, very good, excellent, comma, uh, I, I could have. I will have an, uh, I will have an, if I had paid quickly, ahora, usted pagó, pero quien le corgó fue el restaurant, entonces no tiene por qué decir, I wouldn't. Ah, ok. Because it's the restaurant. ¿Eh? Si yo no he pagado rápidamente, el restaurante no me hubiera cobrado de más. Ajá. Uh, ok. So, if I had paid quickly. quickly uh -huh. um, the restaurant. Ajá. Uh, the wouldn't, restaurant. Ajá. Wouldn't. Ajá. Uh, over, over church me. Wouldn't. Uy, se está comiendo no. un. Algo, algo, wouldn't, uh, ajá, it's an Teacher, es que no, no veo. Church, ok, me, in this case. Me. Okay. 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 Ajá, if I hadn't paid quickly, the restaurant wouldn't have overcharged me. Ok, excellent. Ok, mm -hmm. there we go. Number four, ok, remember you have to, to find the, the, the way to, to do it this way. Ok, Blanquita, let's see Blanquita. Create the problem, Blanquita. Last week, you became sick because you didn't take an uh, umbrella when it's the raining. When it was raining. <laughs> when it was, was raining. raining. Uh -huh. abajo ya no leo. <laughs> outside, outside. 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 Mm -hmm. Last week, you became sick. <gasps> Fever, maybe, a, I don't know, congestion, I don't know. Because... You didn't take the umbrella when it was raining. So, si yo hubiese tomado la sombrilla, no me hubiera enfermado. So, how do you say that in English? If I if, take the umbrella. If, uh -huh. if I. If I. Take an umbrella. Take it if I had taken. Uh -huh. If I had taken. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Taken what? The umbrella. Ajá, uh -huh, the umbrella. Very good. Coma. 
Mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't excellent have have the past participle for became become, become, become excellent become, become sick. sick very good excellent perfect okay that's it if I had taken an umbrella I wouldn't have become sick Okay, next. This is for, uh, let me see. Sophie, read it, Sophie, please. Okay. Number five, Sophie. Last week. Last, last week, you had a good idea for a new product and got promoted. And got promoted. Very good. Ah, this is good. Okay. So this is the opposite. So the two one sentences are negative. Mm -hmm. Are negative. Mm-hmm. If I, if I hadn't, mm -hmm. if I hadn't have, have a good idea, excellent, comma, comma, mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have, have been promoted. Ok, excelente, very good. O puede poner uh, gotten promoted, ok? Excelente, very good, ok? This is the other one. If I hadn't had a good idea, I wouldn't have been promoted, ok? Excelente, very good. Itzel, number six. Ok. Last week you didn't make an appointment. With the, with the dentist and later you I don't see you I don't, <laughs> you, uh, have. <laughs> you had a terrible to think to think uh -huh. very good you didn't make an appointment uh-huh that's it mm -hmm. okay if If, if I, if I, uh -huh. hadn't, mm, no, porque no la hizo, uh -huh, had. I had, uh, esa es una, una, le doy una pista, si la oración uh -huh. dice en negativo, ahora va a ir en positivo. Tiene que ser en positivo, uh -huh. ah, ok. If I had, past participle for make, Make, made, made, uh -huh, an appointment, right? appointment, uh -huh. Coma, uh -huh. I, I, uh -huh. I, could. I, could or would, whatever you want, no problem. Okay, I, say would, okay, el que está uh -huh. yes, I, I, would, would, or would, or wouldn't because it's a positive the, the okay. second sentence. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I wouldn't I wouldn't have have uh, the other the other past participle of have uh, I don't know past participle for far pero have mm -hmm. okay. I wouldn't have had have had a a terrible tooth, toothache. Toothache, okay, or oh, a terrible toothache, okay, very okay. good, that's it. If I had made an appointment, I wouldn't have had a toothache, that's it, okay? And those are some exercises, okay, very good. Remember, if the sentence is positive, you change it to negative. If it is negative, you change it to positive, okay? okay. My friends, congratulations, okay, for uh, having made it possible. This is the section number three. Eh, para nosotros ya es cuarta semana, fourth week, one month, guys, we have one month for your participation, for getting early, okay, getting up early, almost every, almost every day, no every day. <laughs> okay. Well, Lexa is always early, okay, and Carlita Beatriz. Y las pupusas. Pupus, virtual pupusas, <laughs> virtual, ya se la voy a poner aquí. <laughs> okay. Virtual pupusas. <laughs> sí, no. Remember, in the past, we had pupusas, now virtual, okay. Oh, Dalila, Dalila nos va a mandar pues, tacos. Uh -huh. Okay. Virtual. So, <laughs> <laughs> ah, dale. 
su nota también va a ser virtual. Dice que no le enseñe. That's it, yes. Ok, my friends, eh, that's it. This is eh, section number three. Por favor, hagan los ejercicios. Ya estamos terminando para que la otra semana terminemos y culminemos el módulo super nice. Y no andemos ahí porque yo no me siento bien estarles escribiendo, jalándoles la oreja. Que trato de ser lo más amable posible. Ok, pero entiéndame también que ese es mi trabajo, tener notas de ustedes publicar las notas, ya que pues InsaForb y Inglés Corporativo también las tienen en la mano y las están viendo, ¿ok? Eh, aproveche la oportunidad que se le está brindando, la que usted ha tomado. Lo importante es, acuérdese siempre le digo, no es lo mismo saber inglés que alguien que no sabe, porque ahora en día todo se nos va a ir haciendo más difficult, ¿ok? tome la, la oportunidad, ok. So, si tiene dudas con la plataforma, escríbame, no tenga pena, escríbame. Eh, si yo no le contesto rápido es porque quizás no ando mi celular conmigo, pero yo en algún momento, en algún día del año le voy a contestar. <risa> ok. Do the exercises, guys, and have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. Teacher, teacher. Yes, Gavita, no, no va a mandar usted este ejercicio para que lo sigamos haciendo. Yes, of course. Yo se los mando al, 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 aquí al grupo, ok. Ok. And, eh, also, también ahora tenemos tutoría a las 5 de la tarde. Estamos Carlita y Joana. A las 5 y 20 tengo a Simia. Ok, tengo un espacio entre 5 y 10 a 5 y 20. Por si alguien se quiere agregar, me escribe o a Giovanni y él me dice a mí. Ok, that's it. Thank you guys. Goodbye. Thank bye. you. Bye bye. 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 See you.